Hello. Uh, this week I decided I'd like to try something a little bit different. Instead of writing a short essay in the description, which maybe two or three people will ever actually read, uh, I'd like to narrate my commentary for the match uh, over the top of it instead. Uh, this match I had quite a few things go wrong. Uh, I was shooting my PO9 with an optic for the first time immediately after zeroing it, and I was only able to get like a hand-sized group. I wondered why. Well, the optic was loose, uh, and during the first stage, it kind of came very loose. So on the second set of targets, you can see that I kind of take um, take them mostly on one foot, and that's due to a lack of familiarity with the PO9's trigger, meaning I take longer to pull the trigger, and I can't um, move at the same speed that I planned my stage around moving. Um, and right here, I short stroke the trigger, um, so. It, I was unable to kind of go as fast as I wanted and maintain that momentum as I was falling out and just take all three targets. I kind of got stuck there. Um, and you can see what I mean right about on this little three step right in my uh, position. I took that basically on one foot. Short stroke the trigger there. I uh, fumbled my reload because I'm not used to Magwell yet. And I took the bottom target of a free stacker a second time there for literally no reason. This is what I was talking about. I short stroke the trigger a couple of times and uh, didn't go bang. On this stage, I think this one went better, but still not perfect by any means. And uh, three stack was really messing up. And you can see again, right here, there's a bit of a fumbled reload. And right here, uh, just due to a lack of familiarity with the trigger, I wasn't able to split as fast as I, you know, was able to control the recoil. Also, I should mention, after the first stage, I uh, realized that my optic was completely loose, like it was literally wiggling around on top of the slide, so I tightened the screws, and that kind of helped, but again, I had no zero, and that really uh, impacted my confidence as far as shot calling. After the stage was over, I took it off again and pulled the little shield slash shroud thing off and remounted it. When I got home after the match, I took it off once again and remounted it a third time with uh, German torque and actual Loctite, because it had none before. So on the second array of this stage, uh, partially due to overconfidence from shooting the block and an inability to shot call with the unknown zero on this gun, I sort of overshot the array in terms of movement, and I had to stand at the edge of it in order to finish up. I took this uh, first target on the third array on the move because it was open and close, so I figured there was no downside to doing that. However, at the same time, you can see that I kind of hesitated. I think I kind of forgot what I intended to do there. One thing you can see throughout the match, but especially right here, is that my reticle has a lot of lateral bounce, um, and that just means that I'm not doing my part as far as recoil control, and I think that's partially uh, due to uh, poor focus, but also I'm used to very grippy stippled grips, and this was not grippy. It's a stock PO9 grip, and uh, I fixed that yesterday by stippling it. It looks great, and it feels excellent in the hand. So that should be less of a problem going forward. This stage was actually pretty much my only okay stage of the night. I still have one mic, but I'm overall quite happy given the circumstances with my splits and my transitions. And on this last target, I did have some pretty substantial trigger freeze due to short stroking the reset once again. And after finishing on the second array, you can see that I kind of hesitated for a fraction of a second to start my reload and move. That's just more uncertainty and nervousness. And I think that can just be chalked up to uh, the situation with the red dot and uh, shooting an unfamiliar gun. So at this point, due to not bringing enough ammo and having to zero my gun before the match and taking too many rounds doing that, I only had 10 rounds total. And I wasn't sure if I had 5 in each magazine or 4 in each magazine, so in addition to flooding the reload, I wasn't sure if I need to rack the slide or not. And my accuracy on this little stage is pretty bad as well, but I think that was just grip and poor recoil control. Overall, even though my performance at this match was pretty abysmal, I think I came away with a good understanding of some things I need to work on and get used to with the P09. The first of which is the trigger. 
I'm used to a really short reset on my Glock trigger, so I need to practice and back out with this one. I might modify it with CGW parts at some point, but there's fundamentally no stuff to keep the practice, so I'll get to it. The other big takeaway is that the CZ PM9 with its higher bore axis has a different recoil impulse from the Glock. There is probably less overall recoil, but more muzzle flip. So I need to get used to that and uh, focus on my grip a bit more. That's about all I can think of. Peace out.